We've got to go to Josie Cousy now for our uh, regular chat on a Monday. Um, yes, here we are again. Joe Syracuse, can you believe it? Uh, just your thoughts on, on where things are at this morning with um, what appears to be a, a second attempted assassination on the life of Donald Trump. And he's, if he's had, as the authorities said earlier, the barrel of the gun pointing through the fence, he could have just been seconds away from taking a shot. And as we just heard from a trainer a short time ago, that shot, not that complicated at that distance. Good morning, Pete. Well, there's no doubt about it. The, uh, this is the second uh, assassination attempt on, on Donald Trump's life. And uh, I think um, President Trump is going to have to maybe modify his lifestyle. Look, Pete, you've been on a golf course, 18 holes, tree-lined, bush-lined, put rifles anywhere. This guy brought his GoPro camera. He was going to take pictures. He was going to become very famous with this. Look, uh, this morning, this started out in the New York Times with a, uh, there was a shot in the vicinity, then a shot in the parking lot, then a shot, shot in the bushes. I mean, this guy was just uh, waiting for the president for one hole. And so, you know, we, we, uh, we dodged a bullet there and averted a disaster. But look, uh, presidents have been uh, sitting ducks uh, as part of the job. I mean, in my own lifetime, uh, President Kennedy was murdered, and then we had uh, Gerald Ford and Ronald Reagan were shot at, and, and Reagan, of course, was injured very badly, uh, and, though we didn't know that at first. And so the, these presidents are just um, targets for these people. And now, you know, one of your, uh, your, your guests talked about the rhetoric. I'd say that uh, rhetoric or not, presidents become uh, magnets for these kinds of people, whether they're mentally deranged or politically motivated, whatever it is, whether you're looking at Lincoln's conspirators, who were all pretty rational people, to Lee Harvey Oswald, who struck me as sort of an odd bird anyway. So, look, um, I think the president's going to have to alter his lifestyle. He's probably too stubborn for that. No, you, can't, look, tell, gonna... you can't tell him what Go to ahead. do. <laughs> I spoke yeah, to that, Annalise about this right. a short time ago. You know, he's going to he's a defiant fellow. I mean, we saw that with the raised fist the first time around. But I mean, surely he's probably going to have to wear a vest wherever he goes, as our guest said a short time ago. Well, look, uh, if the if the rifleman, if the shooter is any good, you know, he's not going to go for the vest. He's going to go for the sure. head, as, as most of them have done. So. So, look, um, that that there's 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 that. And uh, and I think it's it's probably going to get uglier and uglier. I mean, I I was in the States when uh, the president was shot and all kinds of people had all kinds of theories, et cetera, et cetera. But look, um, uh, America's got 333 million people, 500 million registered guns. I mean, uh, this is inevitable that uh, someone's going to go after these people. And I think uh, the Secret Service ought to do a little soul searching here, Pete. You know, uh, when you, you fail a president once and then two months later you fail him a second time, then there's something wrong. I don't know exactly what is wrong. We could all, um, of course, uh, speculate. But I, I think there's been a catastrophic failure on the part of the Secret Service. And this will attract more shooters. There's no doubt about it. Once they think the president is not pro properly guarded, uh, they may be even uh, tempted to go after it. Who goes after a president? God knows why. But they will go after yeah. him in future, and I think he's a target for the next, what, 57 days. Wow.